Hello and welcome to the review of the second generation Isuzu Troopers. Their model years ranges from 1992 through 2002. In 1991, for the 1992 model year, Isuzu completely redesigned the Trooper to keep pace with the changes in the SUV marketplace, making it larger, more powerful, and more luxurious like. These 4,155 pound vehicles used a 3.2 liter 177 PS gas engine or 3.2 liter dual overhead cam version rated at 190 horsepower. A SOHC 3.2 liter engine producing 190 horsepower was introduced in 1996, replacing the earlier DOHC engine in selected export markets. Most models still used a part-time four-wheel drive system, which required stopping the vehicle to engage and disengage the front axles. Starting in model year 1996, some troopers came in with a shift-on-the-fly engagement system. After 1998 and the introduction of the 4JX1 3.0-liter diesel engine, a four-speed automatic transmission was made available in addition to the five-speed manual transmission. Around the same period, General Motors Isuzu and Honda established a working relationship that saw the two-box design of the five-door trooper designed by General Motors with Honda providing gas engine options and Isuzu providing diesel engine options. Transmission options included the five-speed manual transmission, the ASIN AR, and the electronically controlled 4L30E four-speed automatic. The 4 L30E was fitted with both a power shift feature allowing the gearbox to take better advantage of the engine's power by adjusting the shifting nature and in winter mode permitting the third gear starts for added stability in slippery conditions. The 2000-2002 Trooper included a feature called Grade Logic, which allowed the transmission to automatically downshift on steep grades in order to slow the vehicle down. The suspension consisted of a fully independent torsion bar front suspension and a multi-link coil sprung rear suspension integrated with a solid rail axle. These came only equipped with five seats. Elsewhere in the world, a seven-seater version was also offered. Optional on all, on all models was a rear limited slip differential. In the US, the three-door RS model was sold only from 1993 to 1995. The Trooper LS and S models offered 117.8 cubic feet of cargo space, while limited models have had 112 cubic feet space. Now with the four rank models. The Australian version of the UBS series was sold as the Holden Jackaroo Monterey. In 1993, Holden Special Vehicles also launched 79H SV Jackaroo models, which were just a cosmetic upgrade to the Holden donor powered that by the same 3.2 liter 175 horsepower SOHC gas engine. Under this partnership of Honda, Isuzu, and General Motors, the Trooper was thus sold in Japan as the Honda Horizon from 1994 to 1999, in Europe as the Opel Monterey. In the United Kingdom as the Vauxhall Monterey from 1994 through 1998, in Australia as the Holden Jackaroo from 1998 through 2002, and in the United States as the Acura SLX from 1996 through 1999. The Trooper received a mid-life facelift in 1998 with new grille, bumper, 
headlamps and front fenders. The 1998 Australasian and US spec trooper became equipped with a DOHC 3.5 liter engine from Isuzu slash Holden rodeo producing 215 horsepower. Uh, European and Asian buyers could opt for the diesel engine option of the 4G, 4JG 2, 2 3.1 liter later superseded by the 4JX1 3.0 liter of 159 horsepower. A, Bor a Borg Warner Torque on demand, known as TOD, all-wheel drive system was introduced, along with freshened styling. The grille was redesigned again for the 2000, 2000 model year. A trooper with the 16 valve, known as 157 horsepower 3.0-liter 4JX1TC engine was sold in the Philippines from 2002 until the model year of 2005. These are known as the Skyroof Edition, and it came in rear-wheel drive configuration with anti-lock brakes, a limited slip differential, billet-type radio radiator grille, and large power moonroof. Other standard options include leather seats, wood trim, and a v VCD entertainment system. And it was, and they were later succeeded by the Isuzu Altera. Now to this model's powertrain. From 1992, the UBS series was available with a push rod overhead valve known as the OHV 3.0 liter inline four engine intercooled turbo diesel designated as 4JG2, producing 112 horsepower at 3,600 RPM and 260N.M at 2,000 RP at 2,000 RPM. It was offered as a more rugged and fuel efficient option for towing and heavy duty operation relative to the standard 3.2 liter petrol. And here's how these cars sound. Story time. On Valentine's Day 2014, it was my first time I got into a 1997 model of this trooper in green color. It was not interesting at all. The intercooler engine sounded so annoying, polluted, and a bit weak. Plus, it was my aunt's sister's car. Also, when she pumps the brakes, the car rumbles worse than how the engine rumbles, and the interior feels like a disgusted view between the rear and front seats. Along with that, the cloth seats can be easily messy. On the exterior, the outline of this car looks a bit too boxy and the rear looks disorganized with the arrangement of the trunk, door, and window. Overall, that was my first and only ride in that car and the ride feels totally unusual. But what I like best is the wheelbase, four-wheel drive, and its overall size. Since then, I see some of these every once in a while. That's probably because these cars may not be sold very well like back in the days. But in August 2020, while shopping with my aunt, I found a special badge rival to these. It was an Acura SLX as a 1998 model parked on Avenue L in Canarsie, Brooklyn. The Acura XL, uh, sorry, LX was a slightly upgraded and rebadged Isuzu Trooper sold by the Acura division of Honda from 1995 through 1999 as 1996 to 1999 model years. Besides only being sold in the United States, the SLX was later replaced by Acura MDX in 2001. I hadn't realized this rebadged vehicle until then. The very last time I saw an Isuzu version of it was on July 8, 2022. That's when I caught a 1993 model with a manual transmission on Rutland Road on the north corridor of Kings County Hospital. Now here's the resolution. While the trooper retained the Dakar ready 4x4 system and rugged construction, then new developed tech like ABS and full-time four-wheel dr drive worked in tandem with leather and wood trim to shed any lingering truck-like connotations. Molded running boards and contrasting color schemes were also popular in the later model years, blending well with the second generation softer and more rounded appearance. 
Couple this to the ongoing rise in popularity of both vintage SUVs and overlanding, and the Isuzu Trooper maintains a steadily growing fan base who save and maintain examples of this semi-obscure Japanese SUV for years to come. The Trooper is a well-affordable rival to the Land Cruiser from Toyota. If, you, if you're after the boxy, no nonsense appearance of the first generation, good luck finding one that isn't completely beat to hell or with much semblance of originality. These trucks were rarely treated with kid gloves and commonly carry odometers that have counted well beyond 100,000 miles, not to mention sketchy engine rebuilds, rusty bodywork, and homebrew paint. This comes to my perspective in which having a trooper isn't as successful as any other major selling orienting brands like General Motors, Toyota, Nissan, Ford, and others. Not only because of its design, it was accused of having a traumatized, traumatizing prediction about a rollover controversy. The second generation Trooper received a negative press in the United States when the 1995 through 1997 model years were rated not acceptable by Consumer Reports for an alleged tendency to roll over under testing. In response to a petition from the publication's publisher, Consumers Union, the National Highway Traffic Administration conducted its own test and found no issue that could lead to a need for a recall. However, Isuzu suggested that the magazine's claim had hurt sales of the vehicle after the release of the NH NHTSA report. Isuzu filed a lawsuit against Con Consumers Union seeking $242 million in damages, claiming that during Consumer Reports tests, the steering wheel had been twisted more sharply than a driver is willing or able to make in response to an unexpected event. The judge in the suit, Richard Pays, determined that because Isuzu had engaged in an extensive public relations campaign to refute the claims prior to filing suit, it was considered a public figure raising the standard for defamation from a simple preponderance of evidence that the report was false to clear and convincing evidence that Consumer Reports published the article knowing that it was false or with reckless disregard for whether it was true or false. The defamation suit went to a jury which found that eight of the statements in the report questioned by Isuzu were false, with one displaying reckless, reckless disregard for the truth on the part of Consumer Reports magazine, but that Isuzu was not damaged by that statement. Consequentially, the, fu the full jury panel did not award Isuzu mo monetary damages for the alleged for the alleged damage to its rep reputation and lost sales. Following that magazine report in, in 1996, sales of the Isuzu Trooper plummeted 83% in the month that charged 1995 to 1996 models of the sport utility vehicles having a tendency to roll over in sharp turns. Isuzu sold only 774 Troopers in September, compared with 4,870 in September 1995, according to figures released Tuesday by American Isuzu Motors Incorporated. Nevertheless, sharp turns are very hazardous for this car, but on maneuvering and lane changes, they are much more handled. And the proof of the rollovers and handling is here. The severe lane change at speeds of 55 miles per hour. analysis shows that there was a significant difference in the steering input applied to the Trooper as compared to the other vehicles tested. First, the Trooper was compared to the Forerunner. At the entrance of the course, the vehicles are lined up differently in relation to the left cone. Where the Forerunner hits the left cone, the Trooper doesn't touch it. This test is analogous to a slalom skier racing downhill between the gates. The key to having the best run is to eclipse the gates as close as possible. Similarly, the closer the vehicle is to the cones, the straighter the course becomes, making it easier to negotiate it successfully. At the midpoint of the course, however, the trooper is wide of the right cone where the forerunner is very close to it. Back up. This is why these troopers are not as successful as I expected, and especially with the rough terrains they interfere with, and which comes to a result in 2002, the Trooper was discontinued in the United States in favor of the smaller Axiom and the larger General Motors produced Isuzu Ascender as a rebadged GMC Envoy. 
so the race for this car is just unrated. So this leaves you guys to make opinions on the race for this car, while personally I rate it as an F. So thank you guys for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, and also revive your memories on these second generation Isuzu Troopers. <laughs>